morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we are going to jump into a Q&A day, and it's sponsored by Concrete Shark Week. Today, the Saw Shark. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Bom. I would say that the Saw Shark is my number four shark that I like, and that's only because I only know four sharks. Four sharks, five sharks. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's number four out of five. That's not bad. Um, but what we're going over today is a question by Johan Kriel. Ding! Thanks, Johan, for the question. Can you not vacuum bag the mix to draw the bubbles out? It's a small batch. And Johan, you're right. Um, we're using it about a, a 3,000 to 4,000 gram batch. So that's a little bit under four pounds, assuming we have 453.6 grams per pound. And this is what these pals are going to look like. Um, and I already responded to Johan's question on Facebook, and what Johan is getting at, and we'll put this in the links below, patchouli, so you can see the part one and part two of this that refer to this mix. This was part one mix, and this was part two mix, and they're both the same size mix. The difference being is we were controlling the air. And that's what Johan's question goes back to. Ding! Can you not vacuum bag the mix to draw the bubbles out? It's a small batch. And Johan, you're right. It is a small batch, and we could vacuum bag it if we put, weren't putting a, an accelerating additive in here. And what we're trying to do is gel this material in a very specific position over a short period of time. So I only have a certain open window, which... I could theoretically open that, open that open window, extend that open window to give me more time to vacuum bag it. But um, you know, checking in that second link uh, for mix number two, what we did is we changed the mix up a little bit, and um, as you can see, ding! Patchouli gave us this nice overhead shot of what we did to change up the mix, just a, a small bit to yield uh, this lower air bubble content. And this is a conversation that I've had with somebody offline about uh, the high range water reducer that we were using and what we effectively caused by using the high range water reducer, which is one of the greatest high range water reducers out there at a very high dosage. We're gonna be getting into that video here in another, another day, but the important part was that Johan was right that I could theoretically use a vacuum chamber or vacuum bag to draw out those air bubbles, but I would need a significant longer open time uh, before I had my initial or final set to allow me to get to that point um, of you know having that fluidity to allow those waters to be bu uh, bubbles to be pulled out. As it stands right now, if I use this current mix, it might gel up too quickly in that bag and then I couldn't use it for the intended purposes. But looking at these two samples with the small change that we made to one mix, or in between one mix, the white sample being mix one, the yellow, gorgeous color, yellow sample, patchouli. Patchouli's mad about the color yellow for some reason. But that color or that sample, you can already tell that has a drastic reduction in the amount of air bubbles. And what we did is going to be part of that new video that we're going to be doing here in a day or so, or getting out to you in a day or so. So hopefully answered your question, Johan. Thank you very much for the advice. Um, hope you all learned some. Let us know your concrete questions and concrete concerns. Don't forget if you like and share. Uh, you'll be entered into a drawing for a piece of glow-in-the-dark concrete. So uh, thanks for joining us. Uh, have a great day. Go concrete! Beat asphalt!